Hi there, and welcome to Tayda. In this video, we'll be taking you through how you can separate text in make.com automation using the split function and how you can use the separated text in the same automation. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos. First, insert the trigger or a step that holds the content you want to separate. In this case, we'll use set variable as the trigger. Select the variable name and lifetime. For the lifetime, we recommend you set it as one cycle, so it will run every time the automation runs. Next, insert the text you want to split in the variable value field. You can also insert fields from other steps in this field. Select the text and binary functions from the dialog box by clicking on A, then locate and click on split. This will inset the split function. Ensure the text you're separating is after the open bracket, then insert semicolon and type in the separator. In this case, our separator is comma. Close the bracket after the separator. Now, go ahead and run this function. As you can see here, the text has been separated into different parts, exactly where the separator was inserted. Now, let's insert the next step where we want to use the separated texts. We want to insert the separated texts into a Google Calendar event, so we'll insert Google Calendar as the next step. We'll select the calendar in the event we want to update. Before we update this event, let's see what it looks like. Pay attention to the naming structure and other information included in the event. Now, let's insert the separated texts and see the magic. When inserting values separated using the split function, pay attention to the number assigned for each separated value. For instance, the value for the event name is assigned 1. So, when inserting the value into the event name field, we'll insert the variable output field and insert the number assigned to the value between the square brackets. Now, continue this process to insert the value for all the fields you want to update. Now, we want to insert the split text into the description fields. Pay attention to how we insert the number for each separated value into the description field. We also want to describe what each value stands for. Now that we've inserted all the needed values and described them, let's save and run the automation again. Remember, you can test runmake.com automations by clicking on the Run Once button. Here, you can see the output of the automation here. The inserted data have been populated and can be found in the calendar. Thank you for watching this video to the end. You can support and encourage us by dropping a like, subscribe to our channel, and let us know what you think in the comments section.